Hey there wizards, and welcome to unit 2 on abilities, interests, and potential. An ability is something the student is good at or does well. This might be a talent or skill. We all have something that we can do well. An interest, on the other hand, is something that a student is intrigued by or is motivated by. Let us take a look at some of the abilities that you have. I bet that you have not given this some thought before and that you would surprise yourself on your hidden abilities. Complete the table on your screen to help you get a better picture of what your abilities are. And if there are any abilities that have not been listed, then fill them in in the last few lines in the table. Can you make a list of the things that are not included above? Everybody has abilities, some of which you are good at and some that you would need to work at. Abilities are things that you can do. Have you noticed that when you are interested in something, you tend to spend more time at it and you get better at it? There might be something that you didn't yet try, but when you do try it, you see that you are really good at it. This shows that you had the potential for it. Let's take an example with hip-hop dancing. You like hip-hop dancing, but you didn't get the opportunity to learn. So when you did start learning, you did well and you learned quickly. This means that you had the potential. Now that you understand what are abilities, interests and potential, how do you use this? Successful people are those that look for opportunities around them. They develop their skills based on that opportunity so that they can succeed. When you develop your abilities, you get better at it. Let's take the hip hop example. The more you practice the hip hop steps, the better you get and the better more you will get. As you get better and better, you get more comfortable doing it and your confidence grows. The best way to start is to set yourself a goal. But what is a goal, you might ask? A goal is an idea or desire of a result that you think about that you commit to achieve. When you set your goals, you become focused on developing your abilities to achieve that goal. That will make you feel successful and improve your self-esteem. When you set a goal for yourself, you must develop an action plan on how you're going to achieve that goal. So as an example, if your goal is to win the hip-hop dance competition in your school, then you would need to develop a plan on how you will achieve that. By designing your plan, you are committing to making that goal successful. One way to ensure that you are consistently reminded about your goal is to create a vision board. A vision board is a tool that is used to clarify and helps you to concentrate on your goals. It's a board that you create that displays your goal in pictures using color and making it fun. This is your daily reminder of your goal and it will keep you focused. Talk to a friend or a teacher or your mom or dad about your goals and your plan to achieve them. And use the layout activity on your screen to plan your goal.